OK, to add the form code from the autoresponder, we need to add HTML code. And to do that, you go to Widgets, and then you go to Advanced, and then you grab the HTML code, drag it down again to your lead page. It opens up a box. You click, and there it's ready, waiting for your HTML code. So let's go get it from the ISO register. So I'm going to click on here. I've already logged on to the ISO register. I'm at the member page right now. I'm going to click on here where it says autoresponder and list manager. That will take you out to the menu of how to manage your autoresponders. Remember when we built them you did your mailing lists, then you set up your letters and autoresponder, and then here's where your subscribers go. So once people opt in, to your form code that we're going to put on your lead page. Their name will show up here in the subscribers area for you to manage who they are. The autoresponders area will start sending them letters. So how do we do that? We create a form code. See this right here? Generate form code. You click on that. Now we only have one autoresponder. So we just pick on it. You only get one free one. So that's pretty simple. You hit continue. And now, what do you want to be in your opt-in code? Well, I want first name, email, first name, last name, and phone. And I want it all mandatory, email, first name, last name, and phone. And I just click down here. Now, there's a space right here where you could ask other questions, but I haven't ever used it. It says, do you want the subscribers to request HTML or text? No, I don't want to ask them that question. Do you want them to agree to third-party endorsements? No, so I leave that blank, and I generate the form code. There it is. So now I'm going to right-click and hit Select All. Right-click and hit Copy. Then I'm going to go back over to my Blink Web. Now here's where it said Add the Custom HTML Code. It's, I'm going to highlight that and delete it because that's just instructions. Then I'm going to right click and paste. Then I'm going to click out of that box like maybe up here to this word box. And when I click it's going to change the HTML code to English. And there it is. So it has the name of my autoresponder and it has the fields that we asked for that were mon mandatory. So when people enter information into here, they will then be populated in your subscriber list at your ISO. Autoresponder letters will start going back to them. So I pretty much showed you all of the components that you will need to do to build your autoresponder. So we have did a picture, go up here, sorry, we, we've done a picture, we've added words, we've added a video, and we've added your form code. So now I'm going to save and view the website, so I click on save and view. The first time you do this, it's going to ask you to, do you want a subdomain? Yes, and you're going to hit yes. So you click on that. Now it's going to ask you to name your subdomain. Now this name has to be unique. If somebody else has already used the name on BlinkWeb, it's going to tell you here that it's not available. This is an important name because if you do not have a domain, then you this will be the name of the link that you will give to people to see your lead page. So I'm going to hit Next. It's going to build your website, and there it is. Now we can click on it to go look at it. And it's opening up. And there's our beautiful web page. Zero to riches and all the things that we added on that web page, pictures, videos, form code, all there. So I'm clicking out of that. Again, if you have a domain name like I do, my domain name is www.lindabecker.com. 
and I just have it forwarded to my lead page name here on BlinkWeb. But if you don't have a domain name, this will be the name of the uh, URL that people will come to to see your lead page. So I hit close. Now there was something else I forgot to tell you. If you want to change this up here a little bit, maybe capitalize zero or riches or add a slogan, you just click on it and again then it opens up. So I'm going to make um, capital letters here instead of little letters. And I'm going to just type in a slogan of like helping people. Hit save. And then it changed it. So it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to exit the editor. We're done with the lead page right now. And there it is. If you need to change it, you come out here and hit this and it edits it. If you want to go look at it again, you just click on the link. This is the link you will send people to look at your lead page. If you don't have a domain name, that's forwarding to this address. So I hope that has helped you add your form code from your ISO register autoresponder system to your new lead page on BlinkWeb.